sketch the graph of y is equal to 2x minus 3 over x plus 1. Now, the gra graphic calculator will graph this, but this is a very important graph, and uh, we need to understand the intuition behind graphing this type of graph, which is uh, called a rational function, or this is a hyperbolic graph. Okay. Now, to graph this, one of the easiest uh, things to graph is to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So let us start with the x-intercept. So uh, to find the x-intercept, uh, you have to let y is equal to 0. Or x-intercept is where the graph cuts the x-axis. And wherever the graph cuts the x-axis, the, the y-value is 0. So when you set y is equal to 0, I can say 0 is equal to 2x minus 3 over x plus 1. So cross multiplying, this gets, or this would disappear in the next step. So I can say 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to 3. So dividing both sides by 2, x is 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So your x-intercept is 1.5. So I say this is, this is my x-intercept. OK. Now to find the y-intercept, OK. So let me uh, delete this so that I have space to write. To find the y-intercept, the same principle. Uh, y-intercept is where the graph cuts the y-axis. And wherever the graph cuts the y-axis, uh, your x value would be 0. So when you put y is equal, so x is equal to 0, you have this becomes 0, this this becomes 0 and both of them become 0. So this becomes 0 and this also becomes 0. So your y-intercept would be minus 3 over 1, which is negative 3. So your y-intercept is negative 3. So these are two done. So x-intercept and y-intercept is done. The next thing that we need to do is to find the vertical asymptote. Now the vertical asymptote is where the function is not defined. So let me write vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote. Okay, or you have to see if is the graph or is the function not defined at a point. Well, the function is not defined when the denominator is zero. So I can say for y is equal to 2x minus 3 over x plus 1, your x can never be negative 1. Okay, when x becomes negative 1, x cannot be negative 1. That's all. In other words, the function is not defined when x is negative 1. The reason being, when x is negative 1, the denominator becomes 0 and the function becomes undefined or it uh, is not defined at that point. So your vertical asymptote is x is equal to 1. So this line is your vertical asymptote. So I'll say this line is my vertical asymptote, which is x is equal to negative 1. That means the graph will never uh, the graph is not defined at this point of negative 1. Okay. The next thing is to decide the horizontal asymptote. Okay, now to understand the horizontal asymptote, there are different books which gives you the formulas. There's nothing wrong in uh, remembering the formula. One formula that I know is you cover, suppose one, this is a neat formula, there's nothing wrong in the formula. So you cover up everything except the coefficient of x. So you black that out. Okay, if you black this out, if you cancel this, what can you see? 2 over 1. So that is your horizontal asymptote. Y is equal to 2 is your horizontal asymptote. But the problem with this is you don't understand the beauty of uh, horizontal asymptote, which is a wonderful explanation. Okay, 
So let me draw it and then I'll explain why and how this is the horizontal asymptote. Okay, so say I'll name this say y is equal to 2. Okay, now to understand the horizontal asymptote, uh, first let us understand, let us think about uh, the graph, or what happens to the graph when x approaches a very large number. So this is called positive infinity. When x approaches infinity or a very large number, what happens to y is what we are thinking. Now we'll take the use of a graphic calculator, say, or a simple calculator would do. So let me start with a, a, a big number, say 1000. So what happens to y when x is 1000? So I'll type in two types, two times 1000 minus 3 divided by 1000 plus 1. So what is happening to y? y is 1.99, this huge number. What if, if I change this 1000 to 10,000? I want to explain uh, what happens to y as, ke as we keep increasing the value of x. It's 1.99500. So I want you to see what happens. Suppose let me make this 100,000. So what happens if I change this to 100,000? So yeah, can you see what's happening to y as this becomes, your x values become bigger and bigger. So let me do one more, suppose one more zero. What happens to my y value? It is, approaching 2 it is never it is it's always it's less than 2 or we can say when x is approaching a huge number or positive huge number y is approaching 2 from below okay so let me minimize this so i can say y is approaching 2 from below this is how i will write it means when x is approaching infinity y is approaching 2 from below that means 1.99 it's never going to get 2 okay now what happens when x is approaching negative infinity negative infinity means it's a negative number okay so what happens so let us start again so this is okay i think that you can see okay we know the function so i'll start with 2 times negative 100 so let us start with negative 100 take away 3 divided by minus 100 plus 1 what's happening 2.050 this huge number so let us make that 1000 we are slowly increasing the number means the negative approaching negative infinity Okay, so this is again 2.005. So what happens if I make it 1000? I, I hope you can see the pattern. As x is approaching the negative infinity, y is approaching 2 from above. So this is 2 plus something. It's never 2. It's 2 plus something. So let, us, let me do one more. So this is 10,000. So this is 100,000 and uh, so this is 100,000 so this is never 2 it's 2 plus something but never 2 so I can say when x is approaching negative infinity y is approaching 2 from above that means it is 2 plus something and this you can say this so this I can say 2 minus something okay okay I, i'll not write that because that will be confusing so this is this is how we, i i would explain I, I would say this is two minus something okay that means when x is approaching infinity a positive infinity y is approaching two from below so your graph would go like this so let me draw this branch of the graph so this is approaching two from above so this part of the graph 
would look like this okay I'll draw the next part later on and when x is approaching negative infinity it is 2 plus something so it will go somewhat like this okay now let us under let us look at what happens when x is approaching 1 from the right and from the left so let us say what what happens when x is approaching 1 from the right from the so let me write r there so this will not confuse it from the right from the right so what do I mean from the right means when x is approaching negative one sorry when x is approaching negative one so this is an interesting uh, number of x what happens to the graph when x is approaching negative one from the right that means from the right like this from the right when x is approaching negative one the graph says the y should be approaching negative infinity so again let us use the calculator so i will go two times if it's approaching negative one from the right it is less than negative one so i'll say it is negative 0 0.99 minus 3 divided by negative 0 0.99 plus 1 which is not minus 9498 so let us approach negative 1 from the right so let me make it 999 okay so what happens 999 so this is becoming bigger a negative number of course it's becoming smaller 999 and uh, what's happening it's approaching uh, I think yeah so as this is approaching uh, when X is approaching negative 1 from the right Y is approaching negative infinity okay so let me put one more let us let us go still even closer to negative 1 so this is pretty close to negative 1 and what's happening this is becoming huge bigger and bigger or smaller and smaller it's approaching negative infinity so i would say this is y is approaching negative infinity okay and the same way when x is approaching negative one from the left from the left means from here from the left y would approach positive infinity oh i should have written drawn negative infinity like this negative infinity and this is positive infinity so let let me show you that that means when it's approaching negative one from the right it is negative 1.01 so so let us again start so it is two times uh negative 1.01 .01 minus three divided by negative 1.01 .01 plus one what happens so this is 502 so let us still go closer so zero zero one and this is zero zero one so this is becoming greater and greater so let me do one more negative one point zero 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 one so one more zero so this is approaching positive infinity okay so the graph when x is approaching negative infinity negative one from the right your y function would be approaching negative infinity so how will you draw that you will draw like this okay this will go to a negative infinity whereas here when x is approaching negative one from the left uh, your y would be approaching positive infinity 